Good afternoon, families, students, and community of Stevens Elementary School. It's Mr. Blankenship here, uh, principal, and I'm coming to you with our weekly message, uh, which you'll get every Friday from me. And it is getting that time. We have less than a month until school starts. And I, I can't tell you how excited I am for this school year to start. We've had so many things going on this week. We had a great kindergarten camp. Thank you to all the people that came and helped and volunteered and worked that. Thank you to parents and kids. It was so exciting seeing kids in the building. Uh, today, we had a nice breakfast with me and the teachers came in just to visit and the place is buzzing. Uh, the Stingers are here getting rooms ready and set up and our teachers are so excited to get started. Uh, I just wanna make this message this week to let you know uh, we do have a few big days coming up. Uh, we do have open house on August 11th, so less than a month away uh, that we get to come in, meet your teachers, encourage everyone to come in. Uh, so you can kind of get the lay of the land, uh, pay the school fees, pick up anything from the teachers and resources. We have lots of things going on. Uh, we'll have some Title I things going on there to see some great opportunities for our families to come up this year. Uh, so be sure you come out to open house on the 11th and students the 18th. Uh, August 18th will be our first day of school. Can't wait to see you. It's going to be a fantastic year. Today's big message, uh, and I want to talk about you too. This is really to parents and students alike and to teachers or family, anyone, uh, is about reading. So the most important thing you can do to start getting your students ready for the school year is to make sure that you have a great reading routine. Uh, reading is essential, and that means that uh, reading to your kids, reading with your kids, guided reading, having your kids read to you, and then even your older kids, and this is what I love to do, and I'll give you a couple examples, uh, with your older kids, actually, maybe as a little bit older kid that doesn't want you to read to them, read the same book they're going to read and then get some uh, feedback and, and discuss the book and the character development and things within that book with your older kids. So I'm giving you a couple examples of books uh, that I'm reading with my kids right now. I have four wonderful daughters, uh, starting with a two-year-old. So uh, with her, we try to find books where she's really getting some awareness of letters and sounds. So a really simple book uh, would be like, uh, Puppy Mudge has a snack. So this one has a lot of the same syllables and sounds in there and a lot of intriguing pictures. She does love doggies, so that gets her intrigued. But she's hearing all the same sounds of the letters. So that's a really good thing with your uh, pre-readers uh, to really get there. Uh, and then also I have a four-year-old, so this helps her because she's starting to recognize some of those letters and sounds and what they make. So go there and keep them entertained. Next is uh, books that give them lessons. Uh, so obviously uh, we have some small kids th during the COVID time and they've not been socialized as much with their peers. So uh, The Boy Who Wouldn't Share is a great book just kind of to teach the kids a message because we deal, we deal with that a little bit with my uh, two-year-old especially, uh, just learning how, some of those social skills. So social skills books, books that are intriguing, books that are on their level. Uh, next, I have a student going into third grade. So uh, a couple of things there, uh, higher level. So she really has gotten into the I Survived book. And the, uh, these are ones uh, that are something intriguing and, and uh, mystery kind of an adventure. Uh, so we've gotten where she's reading those and a couple other little books that uh, challenge her reading level a little bit. She has to ask us some questions on words. Many times we'll let her read then discuss. Sometimes we'll read to her. And then we'll also let her read to us where we have to help her out a little bit with a few of the words. But it's really challenging her. Uh, and next, uh, something, uh, a self-help. We read the kids' energy bus, which I am reading the adult version of energy bus. I just actually finished it a few weeks ago. Go. Fantastic book. And uh, Seven Habits of Happy Kids, kind of a self-help to help my third grader to get ready for school. So there are so many things that you want to do uh, to help your kids. And even uh, I'll say my 17-year-old, uh, she and I read a book together earlier this summer where she read, I read different times, and we discussed the characters and the storyline and really what the moral of the story and what we thought about it. So find ways to engage in reading with your kids. It is important. I guarantee if you read with your kids, uh, they're going to be more successful. Uh, that is one of the key factors to their success at school. It's going to be a fantastic year. Sorry, my message was a little bit longer today than normal. Uh, I'll get these every Friday and I can't wait to see your kids in a few weeks and we'll have, I'll be at another beautiful location uh, next week. This week was in our courtyard. Uh, I love to read out in the sun. So hope you do too. We will see you soon. Stingers.